Hi, welcome. In this video, we'll walk through three instruments of digital discovery. Logic, where we'll be reading logic labels. Pattern generator, where we'll be creating some digital waveform. And static I.O. Let's open logic. Patterns and static I.O. Now, for a better experience, we need to change the instrument windows. Click the engine in the right corner down below in instrument windows, change for docking. Click OK. Now we have a good workspace able to handle various instruments at the same time. This will make our experience easier. To learn about logic's instruments, we better put our hands on. To make things easier, only digital discovery will be used. In this lab, we'll generate an 1 Hz clock, see the clock in static I.O. instrument, and also measure it with logic instrument. First, hardware need to be set. Connect pin 0 of input connector to pin 35. Now, let's create a 1 Hz square wave the clock. In patterns, click add channels, then click signal, choose channel 35, click add. Double click name, change to clock. Select drop down menu type, change to clock. The output type was changed to push pull. Left like that. Change parameter 1 to 1 hertz. Enlarge channel here. Click run to start generating the wave. As the pole, continuous wave will be generated. Go to Static I.O. tab and Control Option. Click Run if it's not running. So, LED 35 blinks at the same rate as the clock just created. Now, open Supplies Instrument. And change all the I.O. pull-ups to all down. Go back to static I.O. And see what happens. All LEDs are off, but the LED on pin 35 keeps blinking. Let's label this special LED. Click View. Mark Show Name. See the new field. Let's label it. Large. Let's left clock. It's okay. Now, in logics, click add channels. Watch the signal. Select DIN zero. Click add. Double click to label it. Enlarge the channel here. As we are not going to use trigger right now, left T with an X, the don't care condition for trigger. Now reach single button. To be able to see the wave, scale must be changed. Now it's one millisecond per division. Our wave has one second period. In base, change to 500 milliseconds per division. Oops, there is no wave yet. 
Note the information here. It says that Logic acquired 8192 samples at 800 kilohertz. Those numbers mean that 10.24 milliseconds was the total acquisition time. Let's measure it. Change base to 2 milliseconds per division. Now, all acquisition fits on screen. On the right side of the window, there are three measuring instruments. Let's choose the first, free. Click to select. Click the mouse over the timeline. Then drag it to the end of the measuring point. Click again. Delta X show us about 10.24 milliseconds. Like the previous calculus. Now let's try another instrument to measure the same acquisition time. Let's choose the second vertical. Click to select. Click the mouse over the timeline at the point to start measuring. Then drag it to the end of the measuring point. Click again. Delta X shows us about 10.24 milliseconds like the previous calculus. Now it's time to see a 1 Hz waveform. In this option, double click and choose 500 milliseconds per division. Click enter. Run single again. Whoa! A complete wave! Note the same acquisition of 8192 samples, but at different sample rate, 1.6 kHz. This means 5.12 seconds of measuring time. Well, does the waveform have 1 Hz frequency? Let's use the third measuring instrument. Let's choose the third, pulse. Click to select. Hover the mouse over the timeline on some edge. It's there. 1 Hz, 50% duty cycle, 1 second period. Now, what if more samples were required to be measured? Click on the green arrow on the right side. Samples and rate are now options available. In samples, the default value is 8192, like in the previous measuring. Let's double it. Remember that previous rate was 1.6 kHz. So, if you want to double acquisition time, it must remain the same. Run single. Change base to feed the wave and measure it. Delta X shows that acquisition time was doubled. What about run button? It's another way of data acquisition. Data will be acquired depending on the selected mode. Left mode in repeated. Left base in 500 milliseconds per division. Samples in the full value. Click run. What's going on here is that digital discovery is acquiring again and again 8192 samples at frequency of 3.2 kHz. It's like pressing single every time it finishes an acquisition over and over again. Summarizing, in this video we created a 1 Hz square wave, 
set feedback in static I.O. using LED and cover the basic of logics. In the next video, we'll be looking at set a trigger for the logic instrument, create a new pattern, and more about static I.O. Thank you for watching. Thank you.